A question we're getting asked more than ever at the moment is how do I use music streaming services in my DJ sets? Now, not everyone's using the same DJ software and not everyone's using the same streaming service. So we've created this video and a handy guide to let you know what works with what. So the first part of this video, we're gonna break down each individual streaming service and let you know which DJ software works with it. Amazon Prime. Unfortunately, at the moment, no current DJ software uses Amazon Prime. Apple Music. Apple Music streaming service, not to get confused with the new Apple Music app on Macs, which is replacing iTunes, this is the streaming service, isn't used by any DJ software at the moment. Beatport Link. Beatport Music is currently supported by Rekordbox, Virtual DJ, and the Wii DJ app, BeatSource. BeatSource is not currently available to the public, but when it does launch, it will be available on Rekordbox, Virtual DJ, and the Wii DJ app, with more services being added soon. Deezer. Deezer is currently supported by Virtual DJing and eDJing. Google Play. Unfortunately, no DJ software supports Google Play. Spotify, the service we're asked about most of all. It only works with one software, Algorithm DJ, but that software can be found on all major platforms. SoundCloud Go. SoundCloud Go is supported by Serato, Virtual DJ, Rekordbox, EDJing, and will be coming soon to the Denon DJ Prime players. Tidal. Tidal is supported by Serato DJ and Denon DJ. So let's flip that around. So let's say you're already a DJ who's comfortable with their software and you want to know what streaming services you can add to your library. Let's break it down. Algorithm DJ. With Algorithm DJ, you can use Spotify. EDJ. EDJ currently supports Deezer and SoundCloud Go. The Denon DJ Prime series of players currently supports Tidal, but soon we will have Beatport Link, Beat Source Link, and also SoundCloud Go. Rekordbox. Rekordbox currently supports Beatport Link and SoundCloud Go, but BeatSource Link will be coming shortly. Serato. Serato currently supports Tidal and SoundCloud Go. Virtual DJ. Virtual DJ currently supports Deezer, Beatport Link, and SoundCloud Go, but also has access to an exclusive record pool called iDJ. BeatSource Link will be coming shortly. We DJ. We DJ currently has support for Beatport Link and SoundCloud Go. So now you know what streaming services work with what DJ software, but there's a few things you need to remember when it comes to streaming with DJing. The first thing is that you do not own the music that you are playing, which means the legality of playing that music in a public performance varies from streaming provider to streaming provider. Now, DJ specific ones like BeatSource will probably be okay with this, but you need to check with your streaming provider if you're allowed to use that music in a public performance before you go and get yourself in trouble with the law. Streaming services like Deezer in Virtual DJ automatically, as you log in, tell you you're not allowed to perform in public with that music. So don't be using that in a live performance because institutions like the PRS licensing system here in the UK frown upon that, it's illegal, you're not allowed to do it. The second thing to remember is that most bars and nightclubs don't offer strong Wi-Fi connections or wired Ethernet connections to their DJ booths. Even if there's a public access Wi-Fi spot, you cannot rely on that reliably to download the music you need to play. Some players, such as the Denon Prime players, will download the entire track into uh, a cache and then if your internet is disrupted you can still play that entire track but that's not true of every single streaming provider or every software so you might find yourself halfway through a song the internet gets a bit patchy and the song stops it's also worth remembering that when you download a track the software has to analyze that track to find information like the bpm and the key this adds, adds more uh, stress on your system, on your CPUs to process that information. And when you are searching a song, say for example, you search Baby by Justin Bieber, there could be eight versions of that track in your streaming service. What that means is that you could download it once and it'll find the BPM and key, but then you go to download it a second time or stream it a second time and your key and information is missing and you're having to reanalyze that track again, slowing down your performance. 
The third thing, and this is a really important thing to remember, is that because you don't own this music, there's no guarantee you're gonna have access to it from one day to the next. There's already been a very popular DJ streaming service before called Pulse Locker. Uh, Pulse Locker financially collapsed and went bust, and hundreds of thousands of people in all the forums that I was reading at the time and Serato forums and whatnot were complaining that they'd lost entire playlists and music collections. Now you should never ever ever rely on streaming to replace your current library. If you are DJing professionally and you're relying on certain tracks for every single gig, go out and buy them. Do not rely on streaming services because there's no guarantee that it might not be removed the next day from the catalog. It might be removed from the streaming service. You might have your access to that streaming provider removed and you could find yourself in a lot of trouble if you've got a gig that night and all of a sudden the playlists you've created in your streaming services aren't there. Use streaming services for requests and for backup and for on the spot moments of creativity only. Do not rely on them to replace your DJ library. It's simply not worth it. We've written a full guide. There's a link to it in the top right corner here or in the comments below. And in there we'll break down all the nitty gritty things you need to know, such as prices, the professional environment, see if you can play that, the legality of it, and also the audio quality as well. It's all in the guide below. So make sure you check that out. If this video has been of use to you, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more like this and we'll catch you in another video. Thanks.